Hi guys, just Nat here today, and today I have for you a beauty haul. It's a mix of drugstore and high-end stuff that I've been accumulating over the last few weeks, and no, I did not buy this all at once because my bank account cannot handle that. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump straight in in no particular order. Okay, so kind of recently, I know it's been a little while now, Mega Maxima got in Urban Decay, so I went straight for this the first time that I went in there after that release. So I looked through the Naked palettes and I felt like this one was the one I would wear the most frequently. It comes with a lot of purpley, pinky shimmers in it and also a couple of matte sort of... I'm not sure what I would call these sort of taupey colours. I don't know, I just find that this was the most wearable one for me. I haven't owned the one or two before. I've used other people's but I've not owned my own so I got this baby. And so far I've been liking it. They also had the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, so I bought the smaller version of this just to try it out because it is kind of expensive and I thought it's best to try out the smaller version, see whether I like it more than the ones I already have before I splurge on the bigger one. And I haven't actually used this yet, so I will keep you updated on whether this actually does help keep my makeup on longer. One of my favourite things that Mecca sells is this hand sanitizer from Soap and Glory. It smells amazing compared to like the normal ones that you buy, so I bought like three of them. There's a couple more in here I think. I think that's what's in here. Yep. More hand sanitizer. I literally go through this and just buy them whenever I'm in there because whew, I'm not gonna miss out if they stop stocking them, am I? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, I started to be a little bit pale for my foundations that I already owned, so I thought I should get myself a good long-lasting foundation. And I got them to colour match me, and I got the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS in the shade Fiji. Now, it looks like this, and it is incredible. I have only had it for a short time, and it's like become my new staple, I think. To wear underneath that, I got this Stila Primer, which is the One Step Correct. The packaging's really cool. It's got the sort of cool violet tone, the green tone, and the pink tone to cancel out pigmentation and redness and darkness. When you pump it out, it all sort of comes out in one shade, and it's really hydrating, which is good for underneath the NARS foundation if your skin tends to get a little bit dry in some areas but not others. Another thing I'd like to say about this primer is I'm pretty sure that it is silicon free, which is good for your skin if you're wearing it on a regular basis because wearing silicon all the time does clog your pores up real bad and I've found since I've tried to reduce the amount of silicon I've been putting on my face just as much as I can. Obviously it's in a lot of beauty products and I don't want to cut them out because I do like things that like smooth out my pores and stuff but on an everyday basis I try to steer away from it as much as I can and it has helped a bit with sort of the texture of my skin I guess. If you're a member of the Mecca Beauty Chain Rewards whatever it's called I'm not 100% sure. If you have a card from them like a rewards card thing and you spend a certain amount of money they give you a gift. Ah here we go. Beauty Loop. It's called the Beauty Loop and I managed to work my way up to level 3. I'm not sure what that says about my spending habits. So if you're part of their beauty loop, you get rewards when you spend certain amounts of money. I got this reward, and it's basically got testers and stuff inside. It says, we love beauty inside and out, we know you love it too. And it basically says what all the products are that you get samples of. And so I have this By Terry collection, terribly dense, I'm not going to bother trying to read that. Basically, it's got a primer, base serum, it's got a concealer and a foundation just in this sort of <laughs> sample sizes like that and you fold that up like a little booklet. I've also got the Mecca Cosmetica Soft Focus Moving Primer and just this much which I will definitely try out once my Benefit one runs out because I have a few primers at the moment as you can probably tell. I also have this, what is it, it's from Diptyque, I'm not sure what it is, let me see, Diptyque Florabello EDT, 
Ah, it's a fragrance. It's very floral, but not in an overly sweet way. It's kind of just... It's nice. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm terrible at describing scents. Hmm. <laughs> you would know this if you watch my Lush hauls. I'm like, it's good, I swear. I've also got this Radical Skincare Advanced Peptide Antioxidant Serum. And what does this say about it? Anti-aging serum filled with peptides to fight off signs of aging. I guess I'll have to try this out to see if it does my skin any good. Moving on to Priceline, I got myself some trusty old Simple Kind of Skin Facial Cleansing Wipes. Or cleansing facial wipes even. I also got myself a replacement Stay Matte Pressed Powder from Rimmel in Transparent because I like this a lot just for everyday use. And the one I have doesn't have a lid so I can't take it anywhere. <laughs> As a drugstore alternative to the Stila and NARS combination of primer and foundation, I bought myself the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation, that's what it's called. Ooh, I got this in the shade 130 True Beige and I bought this because I really like the L'Oreal True Match and I thought I might as well give another L'Oreal foundation a go if I'm going for something drugstore. And I have no complaints so far. I do like it. It's a much better shade for me than the stuff I had already from summer because, let's face it, you get pale in winter. I got the matching um, powder, but I got this in the shade 123 Warm Vanilla, I think it's called. Yes, Warm Vanilla. I find that if I'm particularly pale, this will just sort of balance this down a little bit more if I need to. I bought the original primer from Astralis, which is also silicon free, as I said before. It's trying out a thing. I'm trying out a thing. That is my drugstore alternative, and I am liking it so far. Now, my mum also bought some stuff from Priceline when I went in with her, and they had a deal going where if you bought, spent $60 or something on cosmetics, you got this. Now, it doesn't have its entire contents in it because I split it with my mum, depending on what we thought we'd be more likely to use. But I'll show you what I do still have in here. So, I've got this Glam Manicare Express 3-in-1 Nail Art Pen. There's sort of sequiny things in this side. A very pink normal brush there, and then it says 3-in-1, so I'm assuming this comes off. Oh! Oh, I see. It's got a really fine tip. I don't know if you can see that where I'm assuming you can get really fine detail in. That's cool. Oh! Something just flew out of here. There's like little stencils. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's little stencils for you to do designs on your nails. That's kind of cool. Also in here we have the Nail Rock Nail Glitter Manicure Glitter. It just says Nail Rock Nail Glitter. The hottest new texture manicure. This is cool because it's stuff that I wouldn't necessarily have bought myself. Okay, I think the brand must be Nail Rock because I can't figure out any other thing to indicate the brand. So it comes with a red nail polish and then this sort of very fine glitter it looks like. I'm going to open this very carefully because I don't want it to go everywhere. Oh yeah, so it's not very well contained. It's literally just a whole lot of quite fine red glitter. So I might try this out as well. If you, that's something you'd be interested in seeing, is me trying this, this stuff out and trying to not fail miserably at doing my nails, then please let me know. I also have this L'Oreal Base Magique Transforming Smoothing Primer. It's a much smaller, um, much smaller than the other sample I got from Mecca Maxima. This Mecca Primer that I got is a 15ml sample, whereas this is only a 5ml sample, so it goes to show that you really pay for what you get in <laughs> samples, as well as the normal stuff. Um, I'll give this a go, I suppose, on a day that I'm feeling adventurous with my primer. I've got this L'Oreal Paris, it doesn't say anything else, Colorish in Black Diamond. Is that? Yep, Black Diamond. I feel like this is a nice colour I'd just wear on a night out, but it is very small. Is it a fine tip brush, I wonder? No, normal brush. Okay, it's just... They're just small nail polishes. There was also an Essie colour in here, but I started to apply it and didn't do a second coat, which is why my nails look like this. What was the shade? I'll insert it here, what it's called. There's also this Savvy Clear Brow Gel, which I think is just the normal size, which is cool. 
and it's just a normal mascara brush with clear brow gel as it, the name suggests. I'll have to see if this does much. I've not really tried much from Savvy if I'm honest. There's also this Triple Shine by Sally Hansen in the shade Wavy Blue. There was also a sample for True Match which I think is in the shade that I already own anyway. It's in Golden Beige. I'm pretty sure that's my colour. So that helps when that one runs out, I guess. But it's not very much. It's literally one mil. That's probably one application, depending how much you use, I suppose. But cool. Oh, there's another one in the same colour. The more you know. There's also a Natio nail colour in the shade Sugar Plum, which I feel like is much more of an everyday colour to me. The last product in that bag was the Scandalized Rockin' Curves Mascara, which is good because I'm about to run out of my everyday mascara, so. I forgot to mention one product that wasn't actually in that bag that I did just buy, and it's L'Oreal L'Oreal pa 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 Paris Le Blush in Nectarine, because the only other powder brush I have powder brush. I only really have one powder blush that I really use and it's the Rocketeur from Benefit which is very different to this so that's why I bought this one which is more of a peachy orangey tone compared to the pink reflecty one from Benefit. It's very pretty. I do like it but I just thought for everyday use I might get something a little bit more mm -mm, subtle and matte because this is very and that I can't get into it. I like the look of this. That's why I bought it. This next thing isn't necessarily a beauty product, but I thought I would include it because it is gonna go on my makeup desk. And oh my god, I can smell this just from opening the packet. So it's a glass house candle. It's called Taha Vanilla Caramel. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. Like even now with the lid on it, all I can smell is like caramel. But anyway, whoa. It is a double wick candle, and it literally smells like caramel, but what I like about it, because I don't really like eating caramel, but the smell is really nice because it's also got a hint of vanilla in there to sort of make it not so sickly sweet, but just pleasantly sweet, which I really like. So I got this to burn on my makeup desk, so I have something nice to smell when I'm doing my face in the morning. I also stopped off in Maya and I got a couple of things from the Benefit counter. The first thing I got was some Fake Up, which is a hydrating concealer and I got this in the shade Medium. It's basically just a concealer that has a moisturizing ring around the outside and then the color in the middle, which is ideal for under your eyes and anywhere that gets a bit dry. I really like this concealer. I've used up my little sample that I had ages ago, so I got the full size. <laughs> I also got this lip colour in... Ooh, I like this packaging. It's the Hydra Smooth Lip Colour in Fling Thing, which... How do I open? How do I... How do, there we go. It comes like this, which I think is really cute, to be honest, and it's just... Like, it almost looks like a crayon even, and it's this awesome sort of berry shade. But I thought that would be a really nice shade for winter time, when I wanted to look a little bit more done up and not so like matte and... If I wanted a little bit more gloss on my mouth. The last product I got is again not necessarily a beauty product, but it is a skincare product which goes with beauty products. Because in order to keep maintain your skin while you're using all your beauty products, you gotta look after it. So, I like to use this Mask of Magnuminti from Lush, and it really just helps me sort of clear out my skin because it does get very clogged quite easily, especially around my forehead and down near my chin. It just gets very clogged and angry with me. It's very cooling and sort of, you can feel your skin t almost tingle with the blood flow, which helps to get everything sort of expelled out of my skin. So I got the bigger size than I got last time because this is the only one of their masks you don't need to refrigerate, which I really like because you can just keep it in your bathroom and slap it on every... I like to use it twice a week, which is why I got the bigger size, because it lasts for ages. And the smaller one, like, it's about half the size, I think. It's sort of there-ish. And I went through it really quickly, <laughs> so I thought I'd get another. And there are obviously people who like to mix up masks and stuff. I honestly just like this one. 
I don't really have another mask that I honestly go to all the time, so I just thought I might as well get the bigger size. But if you're the type of person who has that issue with their skin where it just clogs really easily, I would definitely recommend this, but maybe if you like to mix up your masks, get the smaller size just so you don't waste any of it, because it isn't the cheapest thing. But it's really, really nice and I like it, so I bought another one. I think I have blabbed long enough, so I'm going to let you guys go. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know if you want to see me test out any of the products that I've shown you. So do let me know in the comments and also let me know if you've purchased anything recently that you're loving. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos twice a week and I will see you next time. Bye! Luminous whiteness. I want to show you, but I can't open it. I want to show you, but I can't open it.